<laughs> We're here to support some dogs. We're here to, happy to be here. Remember the silent auction ends at 9.30. Uh, you know, nothing cool ever happens to me. As you can see, I'm a little banged up. I look like a train wreck. I hope it would be one thing if I flipped my Jag or something like that, or I got in a motorcycle accident. Nothing cool ever happens to me. I uh, flipped my moped. What I <laughs> Try to take a corner too fast. That was a bad idea. I was thinking I was a little bit more cockier than I thought of it. Should have been. I don't know. Now I get to listen to um, my girlfriend tell me that uh, she's right. She was right about that. And I get to hear that for the rest of my life. It's good to know that you're wrong. I always like feeling that way. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm in, besides the, what I look like, I'm happy. I'm feeling good. I'm having a baby. Me, not personally, my girlfriend's carrying it. <laughs> Pretty excited about it. First time father. <laughs> little, little concerned, though, because, you know, babies can't pick their parents, but that's fine. We'll make it through. We'll get a few dings, and he'll get beat up a little bit, but uh, my girl will uh, make sure that she, uh, or she or he is all wrapped up. I don't know. So uh, I heard Zima. Zima's pulling their line. No more commercials for Zima. They're tired tired of all the negative publicity from To Catch a Predator. Right. Chris Hansen would be sitting there and be like, why do you got duct tape, a box of condoms, and a six pack of Zima? What were you planning on? Uh, I just want to slip it in there. That was what you said. But uh, yeah, so I'm having a baby. You know, I figure since JD and Beyonce are going to have one, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's right. It's right. We went to the OBGYN, my coochie liaison. So to uh, that was pretty. That was a pretty surreal moment for me. You know, seeing the baby for the first time. Uh, you know, they, I know it's procedure for the doctor to put the fingers into the hoo ha of the girl. Um, but if you have to give me the, the wink and the gun, I, <laughs> I can't. I can't get upset about it though. You know, I can't just sit there and be like. You know, get your damn hands off her. You gotta be helpful, you gotta be supportive, you know. So what I did, you know, I was like, yeah, step aside, doctor, let me help you out. She likes it when you do this. <laughs> Just trying to be helpful. Just trying to be helpful. First time I got to see the baby, they did the, the ultrasound. And uh, I'll tell you what, that equipment they used, I mean, that's like a flashlight with a camera on there. The technician had to get a running start to get it in. I don't know. But I got to see him, he was just chilling. He had his hands behind his back, had his hands behind his back, and just chilling in the, I don't know, what is that, the, the sack of love? <laughs> the Big Mac and the Cadillac sack. That's what I think I'm doing right there, just hanging out. That's my baby, though. That's my boy or girl. We don't know yet. Could be anything. All we do know is not a turtle. <laughs> so we got that figured out. Yeah. First time seeing the baby. It's surreal. Just like meeting the family. Meeting her family for the first time, that was a little weird. They made me feel right at home though when the grandma cracked a huge fart right beside me. <laughs> the grandpa follows too, that's just natural. Everyone, my mouth is open, which you know, that always tastes funny, but you know, it shocked me, but it didn't shock the family. They're just like, this is, this is how this works. Just accept it. And then when I crack one off the dinner table, you think I started a fight or something like that. I was an outcast immediately. God bless them, every one of them. I love it. So, uh, you know, got to think of names now. Think of names for a child. Mine's Matthew, it's very biblical. Takes you back in time a little bit. Keep it real, but I mean, you don't want to have a, I don't know, a Melvin. Just get his ass kicked every day. <laughs> We're looking up in baby, baby names. You know, you got that book, you know, 9,000 names, trying to figure out what you want to call your baby and ruin his life. But, you know, all the American names were LaShonda, Laquisha, Lawanda, and her friends. <laughs> and, you know, I, for an American name, you'd think, you know, Dave? But that's not American. That's not even American. That's that's European Roman Catholic or something. That's a biblical name as well. I don't know. So, when the first time I see my baby, I, I was reading something, and they say that uh, the baby always presents the father the first time they see the, see the father for the first time. It's understandable, though, if you only really think about it. Up until that moment, the father's only been a real dickhead. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. 
excited though. My girl's boobs are growing. I know that's probably inappropriate. <laughs> I know, you know, I, some people like the, you know, the breasts. Some like the booty. Yeah. I just like it all. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be me and my baby fighting for titty time. I tell you. <laughs> I know it goes downhill a little bit because baby, babies are a lot of work. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a great dad. And I'm gonna have a great, great mother for the baby. And I think that's a good start. You know, just like. Uh, Tiny Simba, Lion King. Someday his, like, crappy kingdom will be his or hers. I really don't know. But uh, before Kayla, my, that's my girlfriend, Kayla, she's like, give me a round of applause for the baby mama. She's doing a lot. She's doing all the She, uh, she makes sure that uh, I know that she's carrying a baby and I should listen to her. And I do. Right there, yes, dear. Yes, dear. Well, always yes, dear. Without a doubt, you always gotta say yes, dear. I don't want to screw that one up. But uh, yeah, before Kayla, though, yeah, I was a mess. I was a rambunctious, I don't know, hunter on the prowl. Always hogging it on Friday night, looking for that Snooky Sash. Sometimes straight and straggling at the bar. That's my girl. No, that's not my girl. You know, no Snooky Sash. Herpes, you don't want that. It just keeps and stays with you. It's like going to Vegas, you know. You can get anything you want out in Vegas. That's why it's trouble for anybody who goes out there. You know, you call room service at four in the morning. You're like, uh, it doesn't matter what you need. I'm not talking drugs or women. Like, you know, I, I want, want a club. Simple. You know, I want a pound of cottage cheese. Maybe a midget that knows how to pull dance. Uh, and uh, play me on. You can charge at the 315. That's just comp. Usually, you gotta be doing good at the tables though. I digress, go back to that. Before I met Kayla, online dating, that's a joke. Especially when you're not making any money. You can't put zero dollars under your income. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm paying a monthly fee. Like, why is nobody contacting me? Is guy? I think so. Yeah. But, uh, so I figured, you know, I'll do it back on style, try to change things up a little bit, you know, switch it through, flip the script, so to speak. Put under income, it says zero. 150k, just falling, just falling, just instantly, boom, 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 getting pop-ups left and right. Everyone wants to be your friend when you're making 150k, but uh, girls figured me out pretty quickly. You know, I pull up in a uh, beat up hoopty. The front door doesn't even open, doesn't lock automatically. Take her to a Burger King parking lot because she get a cheeseburger and a 40. Try to make it out in the bathroom. The drop her off at the bus stop near one. That's just, you can't do that. That's not how you treat women. That's how you treat Snooky. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go back on Snooky. I'll tell you what, so this accident, man, like, it's just, this is weird for me to have it, because uh, it was no more than four hours ago, I was thinking I was hot shit out of a moped, which is ridiculous because you, you're a bag out if you have a moped. But $150 or 150 uh, miles to the gallon, that's called going green right there. I'm feeling good about that. <laughs> until I broke my wrist. And now it's just like, what's the point? I threw in my cool car just to break my wrist on a moped? No, thank you. The worst part about it is I was carrying eggs. <laughs> <laughs> they went everywhere. And a guy asked me, was like, well, did, the, did the eggs make it? Hell no, the eggs didn't make it. Okay, safe eggs, going 35 around the corner. <laughs> That's 50, 50 cc's of torque right there. You better watch out, buddy. <laughs> For anybody that doesn't know, 50 cc is for Yeah, I might be one. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but we're here for dogs. Uh, fuck cats, I guess. Is that, is that what we're I have cats too. Oh, shit. Well, okay. Well, this is for dogs. We'll have another bit for cats. A little key line. Key line hour or something like that. I'll tell you what, I got a, I got a big old dog. Tell everybody it's a lab. I'm running out of time. Um, yeah, I got a big old lab. You know, I tell people it's a lab. It's really just a just a big old pit. But if I tell people it's a pit, then I can't live in my apartment complex. <laughs> and it's one of these dogs that always has to bark. Always has to bark. Makes me look like an asshole every time. It's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I take him to a dog park, and it's it's not the barking and aggressive behavior. It's the humping that is just like, oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We're leaving. I'm leaving. And like as soon as I'm apologizing, he's humping another dog. You know? And I'm trying to stop him, but uh, you know. He gets that look in his eye, it's just like, geez, 
watch out, I could be next. <laughs> I, live, I, I sleep in cold sweats. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you know, I, I love kids, I love dogs, and these are two good things that um, I have in my life, and three good things would be the mother of my child. Uh, I didn't want to leave that one out. She is a peach. <laughs> I got lucky with this one because uh, I am I am what the the layman's call a <laughs> I have to have some charming qualities, but uh, I don't know. I gotta make up for other ways. But uh, hey, is anybody any Canadians in the audience? We got one Canadian. Sweet. I don't have any insurance. Can I get your car? <laughs> <laughs> no. How about any co-signers? Any co-signers on the No. All right, well, that's, that's my time. Um, I'm happy to uh, come and support this. Don't forget that the auction ends at 9.30. I don't want anybody to forget that. Right? It's very important that everyone buys all this stuff so we can have another one of these. It's for dogs. <laughs> so next on stage, my man, the one that you love and behold, Jose Cruz. <laughs> Funny guy. Funny guy. Cruz. <laughs> I was speaking to a German a couple days ago, and I was, he was a little confused by the term. Never heard that. What's this? The party pooper. Someone go to the bathroom and everybody knows this. Do they take a poop and make a stink? I poop at the party too. But I close the door so no one smells my stink. Yeah. I told them that uh, you're obviously got your head shut on your ass. Uh, enjoy our country. Next guy on stage tonight. Perform. Oh, he's perform. He's perform. He's perform. Party Mac and Usher. He's also co-starred in a film called Company of Men. Please welcome Jason Dixon.